Louisville football played a game. They won another game. Louisville football is 3-0, following a 31-19 victory over Georgia Tech, making the Cardinals 1-0 in ACC play. What do you say we hike about it and dish out a report card? Let's do it. I'm at Jefferson Memorial Forest. This uh, gravel paved sort of trail here. It's like a metal loop trail. That's not what we're doing, but that gives us our first few steps to where we are going, which is the Scott's Gap Trail. Scott's Gap Trail is the Meadow Meander Trail that we started on that stretched the parking lot. And now we're gonna jump on the Scott's Gap Trail. Here's a cardinal chirping away. Two cardinals are over there. I can hear another behind me. It's got to be a good thing. They're excited to hear this report card that I'm about to dish out. What are some of the things we liked in that third one of the season for Louisville? There's a number of things to like. There's some questions that uh, remain or that surfaced or got an extra question mark behind it, adding emphasis to it. So it's something we liked. W, like that. Get Captain Obvious out of the way first. Like the continued performance of Tyler Shuck. He continues to do well. I project he's going to get a nice grade on this report card. What else did we like? Special teams play. Still could have been a little bit better, but hard to complain when you get a field goal and, and then a blocked field goal returned for a touchdown. Hard to complain there. So special teams, which I left out of my last report card, they are going to be in this report card, so sustain, stay tuned for that. What else did we like? Performance under Renee Conga, Tramel Logan. Tramel Logan is certainly one of the storylines thus far through three games of this season. Guy who came in, came into camp late, USF transfer, but has done quite well since arriving at Louisville. Those are some of the things that uh, I liked about what I saw on Saturday. Some of them, there was more. As the rain begins to fall, here at Scott's Gap. Some of the other things that I liked were a couple things that I included in my top five predictions for that game. You can catch those every Tuesday at Cardinal Authority. Make sure you do that. Those were that the Louisville defense facing a very good quarterback in Georgia Tech's Haynes King Entering the game amongst the nation's best in completion percentage. And that was through four games and against in some solid competition in those games. While also averaging over six, like 6.8, 6.3 yards per carry. Absolute legit quality dual threat quarterback. They gave the Louisville defense some struggles. Got some big runs in my game prediction. My quote was kind of like, Haynes King's going to give the Louisville defense a headache or two or three, but it won't be, a, but he won't get enough. The Louisville defense will bend some, but it will not break. And that is what happened. We're remembering the big plays from Haynes King, but we're forgetting some of the other ones where they stuffed him up quite a bit. My two predictions last week again tuesdays cardinalauthority.com amongst them were his completion percentage would be lower than his season average and that his yards per carry would be lower than his season average on both of those regards 
check and check. Louisville defense did both. Louisville also became the first ACC program that was ranked at the time of the game being played during the Brent Key era, head coach at Georgia Tech, that beat Georgia Tech. Yellow Jackets have now faced nine ranked opponents since Brent Key took over as head coach full-time two years ago. Well, same time Jeff Brom did, essentially. It's a lot of quality competition he's playing against. Before they played Louisville, they were 5-0 against ACC-ranked teams with four of those coming on the road. They're now 5-1 against ranked teams, ACC-ranked teams, and 5-4 against ranked teams overall. So the defense, I'm actually going to tip my hat to them. Yeah, they gave up some big plays. They bent a little bit, but they did not break. Haynes King, while he was a headache, had a few big plays, he didn't have enough. It was Louisville that had enough of the big plays. And again, getting, getting them in all phases of the game with Ramon Perrier getting his second career touchdown, both coming this season, recovering that fumble in the end zone to give the Cardinals their first score. Those are some things that I liked as well. We officially have a thunderstorm. Guys opened up. Rain jacket became a necessity if I hope to have any semblance of dryness when I return to the car. What I didn't like 57 yards rushing. Knew it was going to be a tough day. Uh, Georgia Tech came into the game. Allowing just 98 and a half yards per game. Actually, one of my predictions was that they would get more than that. They did not, clearly. Well, my prediction was they would rush for more yards than they had given up this season. They did not. Did not like how Louisville came out of the game in regards to injuries. A number of them, one of the most notable, wide receiver Jaden Thompson, feel terrible for him. Had a great start to fall camp, great start to the 2024 season. Knee injury, out for the year. Maurice Turner was announced before the game, high ankle sprain, minor surgery. He was in a boot, using crutches. They started to put weight on it. He is out. Quincy Riley got a little dinged up. Did come back, but he remains day to day because you certainly want that star playing as healthy as you can get him. So Jeff Brom called him a game time decision. Colin Lacey continues to work his way back in. Dressed for the last game against Georgia Tech in pregame warmups. Looked pretty good. Could we see him against Notre Dame? That'd be a huge plus, I would think. Should we get to the report card? 
Let's get to the report card. We're just over two miles in. So let's get to the report card, shall we? We shall. We'll start with the quarterbacks. Tyler Shuck had himself another afternoon. Really was the Louisville offense. Ground game, not much to speak of. Got a lot more pressure than I anticipated that he would get. Not that Georgia Tech is a slouch. They've got a really solid defensive line. But even so, he was under constant pressure. Not constant, but frequent pressure. But performed well when he was rolling out of the pocket. I would give him an A+. Plus for doing as much as he did while on the run often without much of a running game to speak of. Why doesn't he get the A plus? That little stumble in the end zone for a safety. So we will give the quarterbacks an A for their performance in the win against Georgia Tech. Running backs. The loss of Maurice Turner was bad news during the week leading up to the Georgia Tech game. He had Donald Chaney coming off a Jacksonville State game, plus a bye week, where he left early with a high ankle sprain. As I catch my breath. And then behind that pair, which, you know, even though they're veterans they're new to the Louisville ground game as, as far as having the spotlight and being you know starting type roles for the Cardinals so behind them youth redshirt freshman true freshman true freshman the group accounted for 57 yards total rushing against the Yellow Jackets that's not good it's not good in any direction They counted for 57 yards total, not for a quarter, not for a half, total against Georgia Tech. You gotta do better than that. You can't expect the passing game, a defensive touchdown and a special teams touchdown to carry the team every week. Certainly that's a great sign of a great team where you can get scores from all three phases like that. But to be a consistent, successful program, Got to have more yards on the ground. Curious to see how they do when they bounce back against Notre Dame on Saturday. With that said, we're gonna give the running backs a C minus. Do I dare? I dare. We're gonna give them a C minus. Expect a lot more of them, and I think we'll see more of them as the season progresses. I need to get up this hill. Wide receivers. Alabama transfer Jakari Brooks continues to be Tyler Shuck's favorite target. And wow, what a catch. Pass interference gets banged, causing him to do a bit of a 360. Looks back, is able to relocate the ball, catches it in stride. And if I'm the angle that I had looked like when the PI was called, the flag went over his head as he was looking back to track the ball. Does so again in stride into the end zone for a touchdown. Guy just makes plays. Tyler Shuck told us on Monday that as he was launching that ball, he started cramping up, like in his calf. So that grabbed his immediate attention right when he, right after he released. It's a fantastic play. Chris Bell, also big touchdown reception. Again, you hate the loss of Jaden Thompson, but uh, Tyler Shuck continues to spread it around as multiple guys keep getting receptions, which you love to see. So the wide receivers, especially with a couple really impressive plays, A, well done wide receivers. Tight ends. Mark Redmond did not get a tight end, uh, a touchdown. 
against Georgia Tech. He had one in the first game against Austin P. had one in the second game against Jacksonville State. Did not have one against Georgia Tech. The tight ends really didn't jump out off the page off in this ball game. Solid. So we're gonna, I'm gonna give him a B minus. Need to make more of an impact. I'm expecting more out of that tight end position. Let's go guys. Offensive line. As I mentioned earlier, I was talking about the quarterbacks. Tyler Shuck was running more than I anticipated. Running backs didn't run as much as I anticipated. Looking at you guys, offensive line. I'm gonna go with a C. Have to play better against Notre Dame. Gonna face another quality defense in the Irish. Gotta give Tyler a little bit more time. Gotta create a few more holes. A few more running lanes. Offensive line with a C. Defensive line. Couldn't generate a sack against Georgia Tech. That was my, one of my predictions. How much can you hold that against this defensive line though when Georgia Tech does a fantastic job getting the ball out quickly or Haynes King would take off running. As noted by through five games now, Georgia Tech has not given up a sack this season. Those are both things that take into strong consideration when grading the performance of the defensive line. They did give up some big runs by Haynes King. They also kept Haynes King below his yards per carry average. How about that? They also helped the Louisville defense keep Georgia Tech to 19 points, its lowest offensive showing, scoring total, since Brett Key became the head coach prior to 2023. Wasn't the greatest performance by the defense, defensive front. It wasn't bad either. I'm gonna give the defense, defensive line, a B. And I expect them to have a pretty Solid outing against Notre Dame as they face another legit dual threat quarterback for the Irish. Linebackers, not the best outing. Again, it's tough. Kane's King's a legit, uh, legit threat. Missed some gaps, some assignments. Speaking with the media on Monday, linebacker coach Mark Ivey said, growing pains, I think that's how he put it. Got to get the assignments committed much better and stick with them. Got another really good mobile quarterback coming up against Notre Dame. Got to perform better than he did against Georgia Tech. Linebackers, performance against Georgia Tech gets a C. Defensive backs, the secondary, gave up some big uh, shots through the air. It's kind of a pattern. We heard it in fall camp. We've seen it a few times now during the 2024 season. I'd like to see that tighten up. Obviously, you'd hate to see Quincy Riley get a little dinged up. Overall, the defensive backs. teetering between, a, between two grades. We're gonna go with C plus for the defensive backs. Overall offense, I'll give them a B for the performance against Georgia Tech. Overall defense, B minus. Gotta become more consistent in finding a, a way to slow down those mobile quarterbacks because they're just gonna keep on coming throughout the 2024 season. And if you keep bending, eventually something will break. Louisville was fortunate enough to get the, the special teams touchdown. It was fortunate enough to get the early defensive touchdown to get the Cardinals on the board. Those aren't always gonna happen. They can, odds are they won't. So, offensively, Need a better running game, consistent. 
defensively. You've got to tighten up against those mobile quarterbacks. You've got to tighten up on those deep shots down the field. The depth is the depth. Is, the depth is there. I also believe the talent is there, and we've seen some good plays. I'm not trying to degrade the secondary at all. We've seen some big plays. We've also seen some big plays from the other side of the team. So we're we're we're, we're demanding perfection. Let's get it done. Special teams. Could have had one more field goal than they did. But you had a made, a made field goal. It's valuable. And then a special teams play. Tayon Holloway. Huge field goal block. Preparing to celebrate. And the ball's like, hey, I want to be in your hands. Ball bounced right into his hands. He scooped it up. Gone. Game over. Special teams. We'll give you an A minus. Great game. You can still get better. Up next for the Cardinals. South Bend. Top 25 matchup. Number 15 Louisville. Number 16 Notre Dame. Sold out Notre Dame Stadium. Green out. It's gonna be a lot of green. It's gonna look like Christmas in there with uh, some red sprinkled in. Gonna be a little festive. Hopefully the, the, the festive attitude continues post game for the Cardinals. We're about, I don't know, half mile out from the car, from the trailhead. Thanks for going hiking with Michael McCammon. We will update this report card throughout the 2024 season following Louisville's games. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification button so when the new ones do get posted, you're notified. And you can be amongst the first to check it out. I did overall 4.1 eight miles I did 803 feet of elevation gain it's not too shabby not shabby at all again appreciate you hanging out don't leave me any comments about the comments about the report card do so in the comments below or hit me up at cardinalauthority.com thanks again for going hiking with Michael McCammon I'm out